Hi, and welcome to Mondays with Melissa. Today, I wanna to talk a little bit about gifting and asset transfers. So a lot of people ask questions about the IRS rules as far as gifting and gift tax, but what people don't realize is that those gifts that people make tax-free, those are still counted as a gift for Medicaid purposes. So this really pertains to uh, institutional Medicaid or nursing home Medicaid, as some people might call it. When Medicaid looks back five years to see what you've done with your assets, and they wanna know, have you gifted, transferred, given away any of your money such that you would be ineligible for Medicaid for some period of time? Those transfers that people take advantage of for tax purposes are still counted as a gift for Medicaid purposes. And that's a very, very important difference to, to be aware of. So any transfers that you make, whether they're a gift or paying for a wedding or paying for college or anything where you're utilizing your funds for somebody else's benefit or even just transferring money to get it out of your name, Medicaid is going to count those against you as transfers if they happened in the five years prior to your need for a nursing home. That's why it's so important to plan ahead and plan early. None of us have a crystal ball. We don't know when something is going to happen. So we really wanna make sure that our assets are transferred at least five years prior to our need for nursing home care. Now, we don't wanna just start handing money out left and right for people to hold on to for us because then that money is open to all sorts of risk that the individual is vulnerable to the person who you gave the money to. So if they got divorced, if they have kids in college on financial aid, if they have creditor issues, you don't want your money to be vulnerable, which is why we often recommend transferring assets to a trust. But the trust has to be irrevocable and sometimes people are not comfortable with that. So it's really important to speak to a professional uh, to an estate planning and elder law attorney who's familiar with the Medicaid rules as well as trusts and estates so that we can advise on the best way to transfer assets to make sure that they're protected both for you and for you to pass along to the next generation if that is what you desire. So keep in mind for nursing home Medicaid, we're gonna have that five year look back period and you really need to make sure that things are in place well before there's a need for care. Plan early, it is never too early to plan. Thank you for joining us today. And if you have any questions, please put them in the comments and I'll be happy to answer.